What's going on guys? Today is a bit of a different video. Today I wanted to sort out a problem that my mate had been having with his PC. I went over there and he was getting some pink and green artifacts all over his screen and immediately I thought that he had a CPU issue. So what I've done is I've taken his computer apart, taken the main components back to my house and I am testing them on my board. Now one thing to note is this is my own graphics card and not his. So I'm installing his RAM back into the motherboard and the reason I'm doing this is for warranty purposes and the company at hand which I will need to return this CPU to or he will need to return this CPU to I've been having a lot of warranty issues with so I'm out to prove that this CPU is damaged in some way now this system has not been overclocked or anything like that he doesn't have any experience overclocking he's just a normal computer user playing games so I'm here to prove them wrong and prove it many ways that this CPU is broken. So I've hooked up his system and I'm powering the system on now. This is a 6700K on one of the ASUS ROG boards. We're powering into Windows and it is loading up. So we've gotten into the welcome screen and into Windows. So it all seems fine at the moment. And then a minute later, we get this blue screen. So we know something is wrong here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna swap the CPU out to a different CPU. So I've grabbed one of my own and I've put it in. I've put the same amount of thermal paste on, just a blob in the middle, like a pea size blob. And it doesn't matter what thermal paste I use, I'm only testing out the system. I'm applying the stock heat sink because that's all I need. We're only testing the system, pushing it down into place and making sure that it is all plugged in. Time to power the system on to see what we get. Now, if all goes well, we shouldn't have any problems loading into Windows and we shouldn't have any errors popping up afterwards. So what was happening to his system was as I said before, he was getting all of this pink and green artifacts all over the screen, but he was also getting a lot of errors. Now, I didn't have any issues with my own CPU, so that should rule out the motherboard, his RAM, the graphics card, and his SSD. So now I'm just going to try his CPU, the one that I think is faulty, in my own motherboard. This is a second attempt at trying to prove that it's this CPU that has the issue to it. So applying the thermal paste like normal and then the Intel heatsink, clipping it down in place and then plugging the cord in. I'm now plugging his RAM in because I want to test everything with his stock components apart from the motherboard. Putting my own graphics card in, remember guys. And then we're going to put his SSD in which contains Windows 10. And then I'm going to bridge the power button on the motherboard so that it powers on. So we went into the BIOS and as you can see, it is all messed up. We have writing on top of each other. We've got things where they shouldn't be. You could see that the CPU is stock, 4 gigahertz. And we tried to hit the reset button, but it froze. So we rebooted it and we've powered on into Windows. This is using his 6700K CPU. And we get an error pop up straight away. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and just open this PC and see what happens. We're gonna go into properties and we also get more errors. So just playing around with all of the programs, we seem to be getting a lot of errors every time that we wanna op open something up. Now, I didn't have any of the artifact issues on my computer when I was testing, but it did happen at his house. One thing to note is this CPU has been stock the whole time. No overclocking has been done. He wouldn't know how to overclock. So we are not sure what's actually gone wrong here, but for peace of mind and to prove once again that this is the CPU's issue, I'm going to replace his RAM and his SSD with my own RAM and SSD, which I know works 100% because they've been in a previous build that I just completed. Bridging the power button once again to start the system up. Loading into Windows and the screen freezes on that for about a minute and then all of a sudden we get this error pop up. 
So I thought I'd just try and reboot the system one more time into Windows. We got the Windows loading screen and then we get this screen. The unfortunate thing is it also freezes on this for about a minute and then we get blue screened. So it's quite obvious that there is an issue with this CPU. We've proven it about three times. Fortunately for him, it is still under warranty. I thought I'd make this video just for him to show to Intel or whoever he wants to go through for processing for warranty. This should provide a lot of answers for them and to prove that it is actually the CPU that has issues. Hope you all enjoyed, guys. I hope this helps Intel out or whoever views this video. Please like and subscribe, guys. Remember, we've got more custom pieces reviews, tutorials, and DIY modding projects on the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one.